Let's draw the Lewis structure for AlCl3. This is called aluminum trichloride. So the first thing we do with Lewis structures, we count the total number of valence electrons. Let's look at the periodic table for that. Aluminum that's right here in group 13, sometimes called 3A, that has three valence electrons. Chlorine, group 17, sometimes called 7A, all of these have seven valence electrons. We have three of those chlorine atoms. So 3 plus 21, 24 total valence electrons for the AlCl3 Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative atom in the center of our Lewis structure. That's the aluminum. Then we'll put three chlorines around it. Next, we're going to put a pair of electrons between atoms to form the chemical bond, like this. At this point, we've used six valence electrons. We have 24. So let's complete the octets on each chlorine atom. So at this point, we've used all 24 valence electrons. Each chlorine has an octet. The aluminum in the center, that only has six valence electrons. But aluminum is an exception to the octet rule. It only needs six valence electrons. So this is the correct Lewis structure for AlCl3, aluminum trichloride. If we looked at the molecular geometry, we would expect this to be a trigonal planar molecular geometry. Each of the three chlorines pushes away and spreads out into a plane. And the bond angles would be 120 degrees. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for AlCl3, aluminum trichloride. Thanks for watching.